Please subscribe for more videos just like this. Today I'm doing a jewelry collection and declutter. This has been a highly requested video um, and I've been meaning to do it for so long. I finally said, you know, let's just go for it. Let's get this done. I have lots of jewelry, um, not as much fine jewelry. I have a few fine jewelry pieces that I've like either gotten as gifts or like inherited, I guess, from like passed down from my parents and stuff um, and my cousins and whoever else like may have given it to me. but. Other than that, most of my jewelry is either new or thrifted. I really like vintage pieces because I feel like they're very unique. I know everybody does nowadays, so that's nothing that's nothing new, um, but that's always fun to like thrift and definitely clean jewelry, but thrifting jewelry is really fun. So I have a good variety of pieces. I think you will enjoy this, and I want this to be very interactive, so even though it's not technically interactive, as you're watching, please leave comments and tell me, hey, this I think this is ugly and you should get rid of it, or I think this is really cute and you shouldn't. You should keep it. So let me know as you watch this video what you think about the pieces. You can be totally honest. Um, would love your feedback even after the fact. Now I did a minimalist makeup declutter video uh, last year, towards the end of last year, which I will link right here if you haven't seen it. And that kind of inspired me to do like minimalist declutter videos in each section of my life. So I'm never gonna be like a full on minimalist, like the aesthetic that minimalism carries, but I do think minimalism is different for everyone. So. This is my journey towards a more minimalist jewelry collection, so I'm not minimalist, I'm not gonna be minimalist after this one declutter, but it's definitely just a journey to like declutter things and definitely have a smaller collection of items that I really love and really use. So I'm decluttering a lot of jewelry, um, but this is my whole jewelry collection and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you will leave comments and let me know what you think about each piece. In my closet I have this little hanging jewelry organizer and this is where I keep the majority of my jewelry. Um, all of my earrings, I have necklaces on the other side. I'm gonna remove this and we can kind of look through it and see uh, what I wanna keep and what I don't need. Near here in my bedroom is where I keep my necklaces. Well, most of them, the ones that I actually use. So I have um, little these little hooks on the side that are part of the mirror that kind of keep the mirror together. So I thought it's a great way to kind of do double duty with this mirror and I keep all of my necklaces right there. Um, I use some and I don't use others, so that's that's what's great about this declutter. Even the ones that I think I need to keep on hand, a lot of them I end up not using. The rest of my stuff is right here, and this area is kind of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. I have a lot of jewelry hanging out here, um, but that's the whole point of this video. We're gonna go through all of this stuff and see what I actually like need and what I wanna get rid of. Okay, so this is, like I said, where I keep all of my earrings in the closet, uh, and I've just hung it on a, on a doorknob here. I'm gonna start by kind of looking through everything. These are my studs. I'm actually gonna remove all of these, hopefully without poking myself. Ooh, this doesn't sound like it's gonna go well. <laughs> ah, that hurt. <laughs> Let me figure this out, one sec. Okay, so I put all those in here. Oh my gosh, this is so dusty. How do you dust these? Do you use like a lint remover? If anybody knows, please let me know, comment below. Um, so I actually took this out of an old jewelry box I had and I'm gonna use that. But these are all of my rings. These three are from Bobble Bar, I love these. These are really old family things and then these were like from I think the bubble bar target collection I don't really wear them but I'll keep them for now I don't know um these stud earrings I keep I wear all the time these are from I think from like banana republic or something a long time ago um but I really like them and then these are the gold earrings I wear the most I think these are studs from I feel like they were from like Nordstrom Rack back in the day like I literally had them in like high school or middle school these are real gold these are from Iran and then these are all my little studs from I don't know, all over the place. Another ring, wouldn't fit in my ring holder. So there, now I have an empty spot for more earrings. Here's a, okay, so I have two colors of these. I have the silver, which is right here. It's like a brushed antique looking silver. And then I have this like shiny gold. These are both from Free People. I don't like the gold and I know where the other earring is. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of this one because I don't, I don't wear it. I just never use it. Um, okay, let's see. So, these are new, I actually got these from um, an antique store and I really like them, so I'm gonna keep those. These little twist earrings I also don't wear. I love them, but I don't wear them, so I'm gonna declutter these as well. I don't wanna keep stuff that I'm not using. 
That way I can put my um, tarnished <laughs> silver hoops. I feel like this is just a classic. You kind of can't go wrong. So I don't want to get rid of these, but I will put them back in here. I'm going to clean them though before, before this video is all done. Um, okay. These I think were like big. I want to say in like what? 2017, 2016. I don't know. So that's why I bought them, but I'm going to keep them. I actually still like them. And then, um, these, this is really cool. There was a store in Austin. Um, and I don't remember the name, but I will list it in the description. It's on SoCo on, um, South Congress Avenue. And these are actually made out of like recycled flip-flops, recycle, uh, flip-flops into earrings. And I thought that was so, so cool. So I'm going to keep these. I just think they're amazing. Um, I'll find a spot for them in a second, but let's go through the rest of the stuff. These are hoops. I used to wear these a ton. I don't really wear them anymore, but I still want to keep them. These I don't think I've ever worn. Like I just truly never wear them and I love them. They're so beautiful and they have little um, semi-precious amethyst, but I just don't wear them. So I think I got to pass these on to somebody who will wear them. Um, these I also don't wear anymore. Ooh, I don't know what to do. This is so hard. These are from Target. I have the smaller version, which I actually like better. So I'm not going to keep these because I never wear them, but I will keep the big giant ones just in case. I also don't wear those, but they're gold. Cool. They're more up my alley. These I like, um, let's see what else. These are vintage. These are my mom's from a long time ago. Like there's a picture of her in the eighties with these on. And I think they're so beautiful. They're clip on. So you got to watch out for them. Um, but they're gorgeous and I love them. Okay, I feel like you guys have seen most of these in videos at some point. Um, oh, here's another pair that I don't want to keep. I don't remember where I got these. They're really pretty. I just don't ever use them, so I'm gonna get rid of these as well. I don't want to. I don't want to keep all this all this stuff because I feel like it's really. It, it just stresses me out having too much stuff that I don't use. It's not. It's not a fun feeling. <laughs> okay, here's the rest of the cluster. I'm trying to organize here. This is where I keep most of my um, like everyday earrings. Um, like these Madewell chunky hoops. I wear those all the time. I actually got this tray from Jonathan Adler recently. It's called, oh shoot, I forgot the name. I will try to overlay it on this video because I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I was eyeing this for probably like six months to a year and finally decided to get it because it was on sale. Um, and I will link it if anyone's interested, but I think it's gorgeous. So I'll put my everyday jewelry here. Okay, and then these are also vintage. Oh my God, these are so beautiful. So these are all gonna go in that little organizer because I just, cause I want to. <laughs> okay, so now that I have these here, I've gotta make some room. I gotta get rid of some more stuff, I think. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. These pearl, these are gorgeous, but I have not worn these. This is so difficult. Can you see I have a penchant for gold? <laughs> and honestly, I've always liked gold. It's not just now that it's like a little bit trendier. I'm very much into gold and I have a warmer olive skin tone. So I feel like it just works for me. Um, okay, let's put these. These are so beautiful. I'm so excited to wear these. Truly so excited. Um, I will throw these up here so I can see them. And then I guess these little baby Madewell ones can go in here and these little mini hoops can go in here. I think those are all of my earrings, except for the ones that I'm deciding to declutter, which I don't know what to do with these because I love them, but I never wear them. Like, I think they're such a beautiful earring for a great cause. Um, I don't know. I got these earrings from J. Crew recently. They're really pretty. They remind me of the Roxanne Asselin um, hip hop, but not mini earrings. And then these looked similar to something I saw Kate Milton wear that I really liked, but they were like too pearly and too big. So I got these instead. Um, I don't know. Not sure what to do. I think I'm gonna try to give these away to somebody who might enjoy them more because they were like a great, you know, cause and they, they are upcycled and they're so cute. But I think that I know someone who might actually enjoy these more than I do. So I'm gonna give those away as well. So that's my, so far, my jewelry bye-bye pile. Um, so all of my earrings right here, woo. I think that's a decent amount for someone who wears earrings every single day. It's not the end of the world. Like I think it's a, it's a good amount for me. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my little drawer here. This is great because I think it'll be a nice catch-all for like, I have some necklaces here. Um, oh my God, what is going on back there? Okay, I'll put two of my little small necklaces that I wear pretty often. I'll just throw those in there. And then these are some extra links that I'll throw down there as well. And then I have this little Paris organizer. I'm gonna declutter this for now just to fit stuff elsewhere. Please don't look at this mess. No! <laughs> okay, 
These are earrings that I reach for a lot, but maybe not every single day. So I wanna leave these here. Um, I reach for this stuff quite often. So that's nice. This is like my kind of on hand set of uh, jewelry, but the stuff that I wear like mostly pretty much reach for these like all the time. And I'm sure this tray will start to pile up with more stuff, but at least this area is a little bit more clean now. And then I have my, my little Apple watch band. I guess I could just throw that in here too. This is how things start to pile up. I'll just throw this in here. I'll just throw this in there, you know? Oh, well, okay. I think that works for now. Let's close this up. Okay, if you can see this um, mirror, this is my, my full length mirror. I have two little clusters of necklaces over here. And I think the necklaces are where I have to get rid of a lot of stuff. I also have necklaces on the back of my earring organizer. So I'll have to look at that as well. But um, let's just start over here, I guess. Um, I have a few necklaces I know I'm gonna keep. And I will link all of these necklaces um, in the description below, like everything I can find out of my earrings and my necklaces and my rings that I can still link to you guys, I will. These, This one is like a squared off chain. I wear that all the time. And then this one has my last initial on it. I got this from Depop. They had, I've seen this in a few places. I was actually eyeing it on Nordstrom and then I saw it on Depop and was like, let's support like a small seller on Depop. And it actually looks to be better quality than the Nordstrom one. And I wear this all the time as well. Oh man, okay. I wear this chain a lot as well too. To be honest, I don't really wear this chain a lot, so I'll probably give this one away. I actually got this from the Montrose, is it the Montrose Trading Post? Is that what it's called in LA? Um, I love this and I layer it a lot. And then this one is a gorgeous layered necklace. My aunt actually gave this to me um, when she visited from New York and I love it and I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that. Everything here, like this is like an old family hand-me-down. Um, same with this and I like my rope necklace. So I'm gonna keep those, but I will from this side, give this one away because I don't use it ever. I'm gonna put this in my weird, weird floor pile. Okay, I've also got some necklaces here. Um, this one is gorgeous. I love this and I just got it recently on uh, Poshmark, I believe. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is beautiful. It's a choker, but I just don't wear it, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. I think uh, I know somebody who might want this. This one is another beautiful antique necklace and then one other one that fell. Um, I like both of these and I wear both of these, so I'm gonna keep both of those. I keep this chunky uh, chain necklace as well. This necklace I don't wear. I think it's from Topshop, but I don't really like the, the color of the gold and I'm not really a huge fan of it, so I'm not gonna keep this one. And then this one is beautiful. It's old hand-me-down from my mama, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. This is actually a belt. I think this should go with like my belts because yeah, I don't really wear it, but oh, I don't know. Belts are a different story. <laughs> And this is also a necklace. It's a really weird, I'll try to put this on and show you because it's like very odd. It's like a, a, a wrap necklace. It's really cute. Look, it still has a tag on it. And I think I'm gonna try to give this to somebody who I know is gonna wear it. I already have somebody in mind. Here's my no-go pile so far, my necklaces and my earrings. And then let's put all of this stuff back up here. All right, that looks a little bit less cluttered, even though it's still uh, a lot. Okay, now moving on back here. I think it's safe to say that anything is, that is back here is not gonna be used probably ever. Um, I think this is just my excuse to keep a few things that I knew I didn't wanna actually use. So um, yeah, let's dive in. This necklace is actually like, it's not even a real stone, I think, um, but I do know someone that might want it. Oh, I don't know, I find it so cute. Mm, it's so hard to decide. I'm gonna leave this on the floor for now and see what I can do. This one, I remember getting this from Nordstrom like back in middle school or high school and I used to wear it all the time, but I do not wear it ever, ever, ever. So I'm definitely gonna give this one away. I think it's beautiful and I love like uh, stones and semi-precious stuff, um, but it's just not, it's just not for me anymore. This one, I also wore the crap out of, this used to be gold and now it's like some sort of like rusty tarnished situation. So I'm not gonna keep it. I don't ever wear it. Same with this one. This is one of those necklaces that's like a V-neck situation. Yeah, this is one of those necklaces that like goes down your, your cleavage or whatever. I don't wear this either, so I'm not gonna keep it. This one either, I'm not gonna wear it. I, I just never use it, but oh well. 
This was actually from my dad. My dad went to Costa Rica and they had these like handmade wooden like dolphin necklaces. I think this is absolutely beautiful and it means a lot to me. So I'm definitely keeping this. And this one is real gold. It's from Iran. So definitely not getting rid of that either. This one is beautiful, but again, I don't wear it. It's um, a gorgeous little, a little stone. I don't know what exactly it is. Sorry, it's not focusing, but it's beautiful, but I don't wear it. So I'm just uh, so torn. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Okay, I decided to keep this and this just because, I don't know, I couldn't make a decision, but look at the big pile of stuff I'm not keeping. So there you go, this is my pile of doom so far. Box of like old stuff, like these rings. Um, I got from H&M like in middle school or something. I don't know, just a lot of really old stuff that I'm not, that I'm not ever gonna reach for anymore. So those will also go in here. I think I'm just gonna throw these in here for now just to get everything out of my way. Okay, so we have decluttered the jewelry collection. And this is where I keep it in my closet, uh, just hanging on the very edge of my clothing rack. I think this is great because this is actually every single earring that I reach for, minus maybe one or two that are on my dresser that I reach for the very most. And then again, on the back, I've got just a couple of necklaces um, that I couldn't bear to get rid of. And then up here is definitely a lot more organized. Um, I've got my little hair barrettes here. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these. And then just a, a couple of things I wear very, very often. Um, this is an old YSL belt buckle. My dad actually gave this to me, it was his. He's had it for a long, long time and I need to find a piece of leather to fit it. Um, but yeah, at least now I am like slightly decluttered and then I have my, the rest of my jewelry down here. Super exciting. I think I'll probably have to do like another round. I, I already think this is too much because I don't use most of it, but especially with jewelry, I feel like it's kind of hard to get rid of stuff sometimes because some of it's very classic, some of it's very sentimental, etc. So we'll see. And then my final uh, necklace thing. I know this looks like kind of a hot mess still, but I know which ones I reach for. So it's really helpful for me to just see them out and uh, actually be able to reach for them. I think uh, I did pretty well, if I may say so myself. And again, this is the pile of things that I'm getting rid of. So that was it. That is my jewelry collection and declutter for the year of 2020. I thought I would do, I guess, a little bit of pre-spring cleaning uh, and kind of Mari Kondo my, uh, KonMari, my, my jewelry collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said in the beginning of this video, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think I should keep and what you think I should declutter. Even if I chose to declutter some things or keep some things that you disagree with, let me know because you can change my mind and I definitely want to know what you think. Um, it's like having a good friend like with you decluttering stuff. So I, I definitely want your opinions. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so for more videos like this and I will see you in my next one. Bye.